Hi guys. So, oh my god, I am so so excited. Okay, first things first. Hi. Welcome back to the makeup hunter. So, I really wasn't going to film anything today. I had absolutely no plans to switch the camera on. I was actually just <laughs> settling down for a bit of a nap I've had a bit of a rough night so I was going to try and have a little bit of a sleep but then a knock came to the door and it's perked me right up and I just have to get in front of the camera well not in front of the camera but behind the camera oh my god you can tell how excited I am I'm not making any sense anyway this box here is from Lethal Cosmetics. I have a bunch of magical stuff in here that I am super excited to have a look at and I thought as it was my first time purchasing from Lethal Cosmetics that I would actually film an unboxing. Um, obviously I'm not fit to be on camera today. I look like an extra out of the walking dead a uh, really raggedy one that the makeup artist hasn't you know hasn't spent too much time on um but still looks like battered roadkill so um not going to be on camera myself but what i thought would be fun is to unbox everything do some swatches and I've got some palettes to assemble here. So, with all that being said, if you would like to see me do an unboxing for Lethal Cosmetics, then please do keep watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I would massively appreciate it. Um, I'd love to have you here with me to hang out with on a more regular basis. Um, leave me a like, leave me a comment and without further ado, without further yammering, let's get into this box. Okay, so I've just cut open the tape that was around the edge of this box and the first thing I would like to say is this box is actually so so heavy um, it really there really is a lot of weight to it you can tell that there is a lot of stuff packed tightly into here and on the um, front of the outside where the address label is it's got um, a list of what's inside so it's got like um, not the individual shade names or any prices or anything it has got the prices sorry um, for customs but it's just got like the um, the the list of what's in there so like um, how many single shadows how many palettes that sort of thing so right on top here is a little card that says thank you for your purchase these products were lovingly formulated designed produced inspected packed and shipped by and then it's got the names of the team which is really cute and then it says share your unboxing on instagram and tag lethal cosmetics for a chance to win a 10 euro voucher so lethal cosmetics is an indie brand based in berlin in germany um I'm based here in the UK so it was shipped directly to me from Berlin. Um, there was a, um, a, a threshold for how much you needed to spend before you got free shipping which I think was 75 euros. I spent way over 75 euros so was well clear of the shipping charge. Um, as I say, I have quite a lot of stuff in here and it got here to me super quick. The tracking and the sort of update was really good. The communication from Lethal Cosmetics. Um, it was supposed to get to me. I was given an estimate of yesterday, which is about four days after it shipped and it came today. So um, 
like I say, really timely considering it was coming from another country um, a lot quicker than some UK brands to ship. So, the first thing on top are two, I think these are my empty palettes. And then there's another empty palette. And then these are all my products and they look to be wrapped super well. So, what I'm going to do is take everything out of its wrappings, out of the plastic wrapping, lay it all out and we'll have a look at what we've got here. So before I do that, I'll just tell you briefly what I got, so what to expect here. So there should be three empty magnetic palettes and to go inside of those three palettes, I've got four cheek products, 12 matte shadows, 12 single shadows and there is also, which I think is this one here, a pre-made eyeshadow palette. So there are a lot of shadows here and then four cheap products. So as I say, I'm going to unwrap these out of this fun recyclable packaging and we'll have a look at the products individually. Oh my god guys, look at all these. I'm so excited. These look, I've just barely like glanced at them and these look so, so good. So because I wasn't planning on actually filming anything today, um, I just got editing, uploading and editing my last video. I hadn't put my um, camera on charge. So I'm hoping to be able to get through most of this, but I may end up switching over to my phone camera. So if you're watching this and the footage changes and it looks a bit strange, I'm really sorry. I just didn't, I wanted to do this organically. I didn't want to do it like make it contrived so pretend that I was opening anything for the first time I wanted you to see my reactions hear my reactions everything like as it happened so a little bit of the way that I did this order so as I say I've got a pre-made palette which is this one here and then I ordered one empty palette for face products and then two palettes for eyeshadows and lethal cosmetics has a thing on their website called the palette designer or the palette builder and it's an incredible tool um, which allows you to create your own custom eyeshadow palettes or face palettes so you can choose a variety of different empty palettes magnetic palettes and then you fill them with your shades of choice either some face some eyes all face all eyes whichever you desire and you get to configure the palettes however you want to so you can drag and drop and move around the shadows so the way I did it is I designed one palette with just cheek products and then I designed a palette full of mattes and a palette full of shimmers. Um, I wanted to have a really good variety of the shades and I wanted to keep the mattes and the shimmers separately so that I could just dip in rather than making like try and curate a colour story. First of all I'll go ahead and show you the pre-made palette that I got so um, I'll leave all the pricing information in the description box as I can't remember everything off the top of my head but I think this pre-made palette was about £44.50 something like that um, the pre-made palettes work out to be a lot cheaper than building a palette yourself but what you can also do on the palette designer which I think is an amazing tool is if you see a pre-made palette that you like 
but perhaps there's one shade within the palette that you don't like and would change you can add the palette to the palette designer take out the shade that you don't want and substitute it for another shade it does work out slightly more expensive doing it like that like breaking the configuration that lethal cosmetics have done but i think it's just an excellent way to stop you having products within your collection that you perhaps wouldn't use so this is the pre-made palette that i chose it's called the velvet dusk palette and it is part of their 90s inspired collection there was a really fun pastel and like neony palette and then the one i went for the velvet dusk is um more of a grungy one so on the back of the sleeve it's just got velvet dusk pressed powder palette and then it's got all the shade names on the back and oh <laughs> this palette spoke to me so much as soon as i saw the pictures of it on the site i was like yep that's going straight in my basket and i was a little panicked then that something was broken but i think they're just a little bit dusty there's just like the um the dust on the outside of the packaging but everything is intact but oh god how gorgeous are those colours so you've got um, a good blend of mattes and shimmers in here there's a mir mirror on the palette and it says don't be afraid to colour outside the lines which I think is really cute and as you can see, like I say, there is a lot of kick up from the shadows and I was a little concerned something has had broken. But as you can see, everything is intact. It is just a little bit dusty. So that is the Velvet Dusk shade uh, palette. And what's good about the Lethal Cosmetics palette builder? is once you have purchased a pre-made palette or a single shade or anything like that it puts a little white star in the corner of the shadow on the site so you know what you've already got in your collection so that you don't end up getting duplicates so i know that like all the shades here that i picked um say i bought this first and then went to do the palettes i would know that all these shades here weren't in this palette i know they're not anyway because i was able to sort and filter through to make sure that the that i wasn't picking from this palette but yeah so that's the velvet dusk palette i'm just gonna set this aside for the time being and then we'll start opening up these single shades okay so the first palette that i'm going to put together and open all the shades for is my face palette and i am super excited about this as some of the tones that i've picked are very different to anything else i've got in my collection so the palette that i chose for my face palette is what's called the hive palette so this as you can see has got a beautiful geometric design with a b in it and i can tell you that this feels like super high quality it's got some nice weight to it and it's it is um a cardboard packaging but it does feel like quite luxe and then this is a like it's not got the pans set out so you can you know you can add the face palettes face pans or move things around as you wish and the little message here says conform only to your own standards which is super cute now i'm just going to move some of these single shadows out of the way and just pop this down here and the first thing that I'm going to open is my bronzer shade. So this is the shade Quartz and this is the lightest cool toned bronzer. 
I wanted something very cool toned as I do have um, like an overabundance of traditional warm toned bronzers in my collection and I thought this would be a nice alternative as something that I could contour with but also add a bit of colour to my skin so this one looks absolutely stunning the inside of the packaging has a little quote as well it says kindness is a currency best spent lavishly and these are a really like i say the way they're packaged is really really nice um really like well made well constructed so i'm going to pop this straight into my palette in the top left hand corner and that's just going to sit in there like that. The next shade that I have is a blush shade. Um, I decided not to go for like two blushes, uh, a bronzer and a highlighter because I have so many highlights within my collection. And I haven't been wearing highlight as much as I would usually. I've been liking much more of a subtle glow. So I decided to go for three blushes and a bronzer and I chose blushes that I haven't really got shades like in my collection especially this shade this first shade which is called Neophyte which is an amazing yellow blush I've seen a lot of people using and wearing these yellow toned blushes it's like a yellow orange I would say it's like a marigold colour and on very pale skin, I just think it looks so incredibly flattering. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. And the quote in there is the same as on the bronzer. So I'm just going to pop that. And I've slightly nicked it with my nail, but nothing too bad. And I'm just going to pop it next to that bronzer shade. Then the next blusher that I have here is the shade Tendril and this is a beautiful bright orange which I thought would complement that yellowy toned blusher really well. This is gorgeous, this is right up my alley. I absolutely love an orangey blush. That is stunning. And I will do swatches of everything once I've opened everything and put everything in the palette um, just to minimise the risk of damaging anything. Um, I'm pretty ham-fisted <laughs> and clumsy um, all by myself without sort of trying to manoeuvre single pans around this towel. So that's what it is looking like so far. I think that just looks so gorgeous and I can honestly say I've got nothing like this in my collection already. And then the last shade that I got is the shade Sanguine and this is actually probably made for somebody of a much deeper complexion than me but I absolutely love a really strong blush and I love these like red terracotta rose shades and when I saw this one I just knew I had to have it it is gorgeous I will have to use a very light hand with this but I think even mixed with this yellow tone it will be absolutely beautiful and will really warm up my complexion when using such a cool toned bronzer so I'm so excited for this there are another couple of blushes on the site I've got my eye on but these were the first four that I just was so excited about and how gorgeous does that palette look I'm so excited and seeing them all here in person they just look so much better in person than I could ever have imagined so that is my face palette, just going to put that one aside with the Velvet Dusk palette and now we'll get into opening all these single shadows and as I had designed them to have 
an all matte palette and an all shimmer palette i'm just going to divide them up between the mattes and the shimmers and we'll start opening and looking at some of these eyeshadows Okay, so I've split everything between mattes and shimmers. So I've got my shimmers over here and my mattes over here. And I picked two of the new empty magnetic palette, the Flora palette. Now, just a side note, um, the Flora palette is actually um, for the brand new Night Flower palette that was released not long ago from Lethal Cosmetics. It's a pre-made palette, um, sold out immediately went on pre-order sold out again um, and I when I was placing this order I'd initially gone on to get the night flower palette for myself and my mum she is um, I've mentioned on this channel before my mum loves purple eyeshadows so I absolutely knew that she would love that palette and as soon as I saw it she was like yep I want one of those so I went on to order two of the night flower palettes as well as all this other stuff and by the time I got to the checkout the pre-order had completely filled so I decided to complete my order without the night flower palette and then about four hours later they did another pre-order and I managed to snag it thankfully so this is what my Pre, like pre-made night flower palette is going to look like on the outside i just absolutely love this palette it has the night flower design on it and then it's got like these petals um i just love the color of it it stands out amongst my collection and then the background is like this dark hollow and then by the mirror it says like a wildflower grow in unexpected places and that quote actually means quite a lot to me um i've been through an awful lot with my health and my mental health and it's a very similar quote to something that um, means an awful lot to me so I just had to have these palettes I think it's beautiful and as I say it means a lot and I've just brought out my iPad so I can briefly show you the photos the screenshots of when I created the palette so this is the palette builder I know this isn't very technical I should be throwing a picture up on the screen but as I need these pictures to refer to I thought I'd show you so this is the palette builder you can see this is how much i paid for the all matte palette and this is the configuration of how i designed it just a sneak peek of some of the shadows and then this is the all shimmer palette and this is the price that i paid for the all shimmer palette i did eventually switch these two shades around um but essentially this is the what I had in mind for my custom palettes so I'll move that off to the side so I can refer back to it and let's get opening these shadows and I think we'll start with the mattes so I'm not going to go in any particular order to begin with I'm just going to start opening them and then we'll put them in the palette where they need to go so this first shade is called Altitude and it's a beautiful pastel blue and the pans, uh, the little cardboard palettes open so as not to dink the shadows or make a mess which I find very helpful and the quote in here says this is the beginning of something great and this is what I love about indie brands I'm very new to indie brands but the attention to detail the little personal touches is just it means uh, means a lot as a consumer so this is a beautiful light periwinkle blue uh, very in fitting with the Pantone colour of the year, very peri, 
but I just think this is a stunning colour, really unusual and as it really does stand out amongst my collection as something very different for me. I don't really wear a lot of cool tones although I am getting into cool tones more and more lately so this one was an easy one to add to the basket. So I'm just going to pop it into the palette. And I am going to do swatches of everything, but as I say, once I've got everything in its rightful place. So this next shade is Terminus, and this is a gorgeous, like, raspberry colour, like a dus dusky, dusty raspberry, if that makes any sense at all. And I just think this looks so gorgeous for a like a berry toned smoky eye, something a little bit, you know, a little bit glam, um, like as an alternative to a warm brown. So I just thought that was really beautiful. And it's actually much lighter in person than it looked on the site but that is absolutely fine by me so pop that in the palette then the next shade here is the shade torment and this is like a light pale tan orange um, if I remember right, it was described as um, as an orange or, or a pumpkin or something like that. But it is definitely, again, lighter, I would say, in person. Um, but that is beautiful. All day, every day, that is my favourite kind of transition shade. The sticker is a little bit skew-if on the back. So I'm just going to fix that. And then pop that in the palette. And the next shade here is a nice deep dark one called Trespass. This was one of my favourite shades um, I came across. I just thought it was really striking, really different for my collection and would be a ma an amazing sort of outer corner deepening shade and again this one kind of looks damaged but it isn't it is just the sort of the powder from around the edge but I am just going to knock that off onto the towel so it doesn't make a mess but that is a gorgeous rich warm red burgundy brown it's beautiful and the idea that I had with the configuration of the shades is I didn't want anything to be too uniform like I didn't want to go from light to dark or anything like that I wanted your eye to sort of dance around the palette because for me personally that's what inspires me like when I look at at my palette design on the palette builder and I'm like oh that's beautiful that's beautiful that's beautiful I'm like oh I could mix that with that and put that with that you know it's it's a lot more inspiring to me that way this next shade is quick save and this is kind of like um a passion fruit color it's um like a pinky orange and it's stunning really beautiful again very unusual and I can just think of so many different looks with this shade mixed with the others within my palette I mean just imagining like this with torment with terminus even with trespass you know it's just really really inspiring i i much prefer this i suppose for some it would be very 
incohesive but to me it just it makes me want to dibble and dabble in the different shades so the next one something again very different for me i'm not really a huge wearer of blues but i do love greens and this is kind of a happy marriage between the two so this is the shade yonder and it's a beautiful light teal lethal cosmetics do a lot of these teal shades um a varying sort of depths and sort of sat you know saturations but this is a nice light bright teal which will be stunning in the spring okay and the next shade i have is this gorgeous cool toned gray brown um, again another unusual transition shade for me and not something i've got a lot of in my collection this is the shade unearthed and I think this is just stunning and I can't wait to mix this with this and this uh, again I've got so many ideas and feel so inspired already okay so I'm sorry for the change in footage and if the quality changes this is going to be fun to edit so next up i have this shade which is the shade frantic again this is a gorgeous rich like outer corner deepening shade this is a gorgeous red wine it has uh, more red in it than the previous shade which was more of a like burgundy so as you can see this one is a slightly lighter more ready tone but this one's more cool toned than this one but they will pair really beautifully together then i have the shade recluse which is one of my favorite type of shades this is a really beautiful like pukey grungy green shade and again i think this is just stunning stands out within my collection and i think it would pair beautifully with this shade with this shade it's just i find this palette so so inspiring when i was creating the matte and the shimmer palette on the palette builder i was like oh i can't wait to do that and i can't wait to do that and also what's great about these palettes which i forgot to mention before is the back has these holes in so you can just pop something through to pop out the pans and you can do the same with the velvet dust palette so all the pre-made palettes you can take the shades out you can take the pans out so i can mix shades from the velvet dusk with this i can take some of my shimmer shades and create a custom palette if i'm going away somewhere things like that so it's really handy and just gets my creative juices flowing basically so the next shade i have again very different for me but was one that i kept coming back to when i was building my palette this is a gorgeous navy blue and it is the shade insomnia but it is an unusual kind of blue it's not like a bright in your face blue it's got a lot of gray in it and i just think it's a really stunning color and it's going to pair so beautifully with a lot of these other colors i mean even with the orange it's going to look amazing with the teal even with these like warm burgundies you could do something really smoky and like evening appropriate so let's pop that one in and then i am 
am down to my last two mattes. So this is the shade Syncope and this is another earthy, grungy green and I've realised I've put two of my shades the wrong way around but that's no problem. So this is a lovely like army khaki green really beautiful that one should have gone up there and that one should have gone down there but it really doesn't make any difference they're sort of in the same color family and then the last one i have is this beautiful rich deep purple called night call and this one is a lovely Oh, <laughs> bright but deep blue toned purple. Um, I'm not sure how well you're picking up the undertones on my phone camera, but let's pop it into the palette and we can have a look at the palette as a whole. And these are quite strong magnets on these palettes. So that is my all matte lethal cosmetics palette i can't wait to swatch these and see the slight annoyances in some of these shades i think it's going to be really interesting really telling the only thing i will say that i've noticed is the shades are different in person than they are online so if you just get a good look at the palette there as it is made i mean it's not a negative i absolutely love every single one of these shades but if i just compare it to how it looks here it is ever so slightly mm, or is it the shades that are sort of saying different to me are the shades Night Call. Um, and I think maybe that's the only... And, and this one. This looks more like lime green than it does in person. But I still absolutely love all of the shades i still think it's really beautiful but i am actually looking at that i do want to just pop these two shades out and just switch them round so they look like they do in here so i'm going to just pop off camera do that and then we'll get to the shimmer shades and wait till you see some of these shimmers okay and that's how it should have looked. I'm a bit happier with that. So I'm so excited to swatch these and start creating with it. But let's get into these shimmers and metallics. So exactly the same palette as the previous one. Let's start opening some of these. So this is the shade ether which is a gorgeous dark green oh my god that is stunning look at that that is a beauty and i am just gonna open all these and lay them all out before i put them in the palette um because the battery is dying on my ipad as well so this is the shade afterglow and this is a really unusual color so this is like an icy white but it's actually a very pale icy blue i'm not sure whether you're going to be able to pick that up on camera i can definitely see it in person it's a beautiful icy blue and you it's definitely got a very strong blue reflect and i do remember where that one was in the palette this next shade 
is Rebirth and this is a gorgeous metallic sort of purpley plum oh that is lovely and this has quite a lot of blue in it I think stunning really really beautiful shade that is then this is one that I was really excited about because it's a very different for me this is the shade Rise from the Ashes and this is like a metallic black sort of like um, a charcoal I would say um, oh it's stuck but it has you can see it has some blue in it that is gorgeous I can't wait to use that and then I have two of my exciting shades so this one is the shade talisman and this is a beautiful bright turquoise duochrome so this one has a lot of green to it this looks incredible i cannot wait to swatch these and then this one is the shade ascension so this one is looks very similar to talisman but swatch this one is like um, a blue with a pink duochrome it's stunning I don't think you're gonna pick that up in the camera but you can see that this one has a lot of green in comparison but they're beautiful then I've got the shade Sigil. This is another one that I was super excited about. So this is a minty green. This one is gorgeous. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is going to look amazing all across the lid. I can't wait. And then one that I just, I couldn't leave that site without picking this up. This is the shade, I don't even need to look at it. This is the shade Vertex. And this is a bright neon lime metallic. I mean, can you even, I mean, that is just, oh, that's so, so stunning. Then the next shade I have, I've got some purple. So this is a beautiful, deep, true purple. Um, this reminds me of Prince for some reason. I look at this and it's like purple rain. Who? <laughs> this is stunning. I'm all fingers and thumbs. That's beautiful, isn't it? absolutely gorgeous I'm imagining these two combined to do a smoky purple eye amazing and then this one is the shade synth this one looks at wow look at that tiny bit of the shade vertex on my thumb how bright that is this is the shade Synth. This is a purple to blue duochrome and this looks incredible. Oh, I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the shift, but there is a really intense pale blue shift in that. It's amazing. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait. This is another one that I was super excited about. This is the shade Stargaze. And this is a metallic navy blue with some purple to it. Look at 
at that. <gasps> wow. Wow. And I'm imagining these two together. I'm imagining these two together. I'm imagining these two together. I'm full of ideas and excitement. And then the last one I have here is the shade Mainframe. And this is a Fuchsia to Purple Duochrome. And this one is a lot of fun. This one is gorgeous. Oh my God, you should see the pile of cardboard next to me. Oh, look at that. And I don't think my phone camera is going to do this shade justice at all. But that is beautiful. So what I'm going to do now, off camera, I'm just going to pop all these in the palette as I had them configured on the palette builder, come back and show you and then we'll do some swatches. Okay, and there is my beautiful metallic Lethal Cosmetics custom palette put together. I did slightly dink this one as I was putting it in the palette but that's okay and then just side by side with the all matte palette oh, look at that how fun is that I'm so so I'm feeling so inspired I really am I think I am going to have to film with these tonight I don't think I'm going to be able to wait I mean just off the top of my head straight away I'm thinking this in the crease deepening up with this this all over the lid with this as a pop of colour on the inner corner I'm thinking again this one with this purple this and this I'm thinking this pale blue deepened up with this with this and this and then if you throw into the mix the pre-made velvet dust palette and this was my idea for this that I a lot of the shades that were in this velvet dusk one I I had in mind to work really well with the ones in my custom palettes I mean you can see that these just all go so so well together I mean you've got this shade here and the shade Runaway are very much from the same family. It's just, I think this is Recluse, is much lighter and brighter. And then you've got this beautiful grounding brown shade. You've got the deeper version of this one. You've got a slightly different kind of blue, different type of purples. You know, they they just are going to blend together so beautifully. And then also just pop onto the screen my cheek palette. And there we go, that is my Lethal Cosmetics order. So, I am now going to prepare my arm for swatches.